that the lionfish is a huge threat to our reefs out in the Atlantic Ocean. But now, thanks to the research of a 13-year-old girl from Jupiter, we're learning they can survive in much more fresh water, including some of our already threatened estuaries and local rivers. They're pretty cool. They've got some cool camouflage on them. Even confined to this aquarium at the Loxahatchee River Center, the lionfish is still a fierce fighter. The fins on the side, they actually use to corner the little fish. When Lauren Arrington drops a small minnow into the tank, you can see how quickly the predator attacks its prey. Well, they're eating all the little fish, so there's no food for the big fish, and it's destroying the Florida ecosystem. Lauren will be an eighth grader at King's Academy next year, but already she's making scientists around the country turn their heads. Her science fair project on the lionfish showed that the invasive, hungry creature can survive well away from the Atlantic Ocean. My question became, well, can they be in freshwater? So that's what we tested. September 9th is when we caught the lionfish. To conduct her research, she captured a dozen or so fish, stuck them into tanks, and slowly lowered the salinity, removing salt from the water, yet the fish still survived. They were normal, perfectly normal, at six parts per thousand. That's way up in the river. So they, they can live up there normally, and they can just dominate. That means lionfish, which eat almost anything in sight, could now migrate into rivers and estuaries. Around the sandbar, in the mangroves around the sandbar, you can find lionfish. Her dad says this means the already threatened St. Lucie River, suffering from years of discharges, could see even more damage to oyster beds and local fish. And so now the invasive lionfish is another layer, another threat on top of that stressed ecosystem. Lauren's research is a warning to coastal cities across South Florida and the Gulf Coast. The solution, she says, is more of this. Spear fishing and lionfish tournaments kill as many as possible before this once saltwater predator makes a home deep within our local rivers and estuaries. And they say another way to combat this problem is to serve these lionfish at restaurants or even in your home kitchen. They say it tastes kind of like grouper. They even have tastings here at the River Center and a tournament in Martin County coming up next month. Randy Gillenhall, WPBF 25 News.